Hammond. How's he do that? All puffy dinks, eat them up nice. All puffy dinks, a fat puffed rice. It's puffy do dinkalicious. Yo, yo. Cereal songs. That's so immature, Emmett. Glad you like it, sis. <laughs> My project, I built a full-scale nose with vibrating cilia and green mucus. That is a project. What project? A science project that's due today. Oh, no. I totally forgot. Ouch. Instant F. Sorry, Emmett. No way, Peel. I just need a good excuse. Know anybody that died? Next! Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, got one! Got one? Lice! Lice? <laughs> no, that's a puffy thing. He is a puffy little thing. We'll send him to the lab. And Mr. Lice Maker here, straight home! Wait a second, I'm trying to tell you, that's a puffy thing. Home? Did you say home? Darn tootin'! Cover your heads, children! Lice boy coming through! How's he do that? I don't know. In the West, the Royals can close everything I burn. This'll make you feel better, sweetie. My special liver and broccoli nachos. I'm not sick, Aunt Marie. They just thought I might have lice. Well, I need me too. Mm, I feel better already. Can you keep a secret, Mr. Carpathios? Like the bank vault. I don't really have lice. No? Then what you got? The big tapeworm? Nothing. They found a stray puffy thing on my head. Thought it was lice and uh, sent me homeward bound. What could I do? I'm for sure that you did all that you could do, huh? That's right, Mr. Carpathios. I did all I could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you pulled the wool over the fishes. <laughs> now I got the whole day to relax and work on my science project. Inevitable. Reach Van Durken reporting live from the apartment building of Emmett Freedy, the more responsible for the current lice plague that threatens Akron. What the? Oh, there's that handsome Reach Van Durken. It's for Emmett to France! Lice gaps, get the lice gaps, two for ten bucks in your pocket. Let's put him in the rocket ship and, and light the fuse up. This is starting to weird me out, Emmett. Oh, I'll put a quick stop to this, Mr. Carpathios. I don't have lice! It was a puffy thing! Go home! What did he say? He said, I love lice and you all stink. Trombone! Trombone? Who's he calling trombone? Better check this out, bro. Our first step is to pacify the lice breeding area. In layman's terms, it's time to shave Emmett's head. Oh, come on now! Can't a guy have a decent scam anymore? <sighs> May as well go back to school and tell the truth. There goes an American hero. I saw you on TV. You looked fat. Stay away from my head, dudes, Emmett. You hear me? You hear me? No, wait. Mr. Lombardi, please listen. I don't have lies. Won't somebody believe me? Hey, that's the guy. Lice guy. Emmett, can we talk to you before you're bald? Yeah! Emmett, your friends came by to see how you were feeling. Ah, uh, Emmett. It's the setup! Stop! Don't go! We got no quarrel with you, Emmett. This is between us and those lice. Oh, you want lice? Here's the lice! Hey, this isn't lice. It sure doesn't taste like lice. It tastes more like the puffy dinks. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. 
Oh, Puffy Dinks. Eat, Eat them up nice. Oh, Puffy Dinks. Fat Puff Rice. It's Puffy Day. Oh, delicious. Yo, yo. Has the whole planet gotten completely immature? A breakfast bonnet protects the face and head area from RFBD, random flying breakfast debris. Allow me to demonstrate. Peel, toss the bacon. Ha, huh? the bacon, toss it. Oh, yeah. Ow, my eye. Another breakfast disaster successfully thwarted. Thank you. Music, Peel. Emmett, that was a wonderful science project. How's he do that? <laughs>